people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I am a fourth generation witch. Today's video is about an event that happened over the summer and I've been meaning to do this for quite a long time. It was an event that caused much sadness for me but there is a silver lining to this cloud as we will go and see. So do join me on the hill above my house and we'll show you what we're going to do. So I've got with me my trusty basket, just in case we pick up anything of interest whilst we're going. So I love a mushroom at this time of year, and also uh, some choppy things. I don't even know what these are called. Shearers? So, let's go. At last it stopped raining, it appears to have been raining for weeks and weeks and weeks. And so, let's set out to the top of the hill. Take those dogs with us too. Look at those autumn colours in the sunshine. This is why I haven't done this sooner, it's been raining too much. And I am definitely a fair weather witch. I've been wanting to find some mushrooms, but so far I can only find these rather poisonous toadstools. Mm. Just admiring my winter wood supply. I'm going to chop this tree up and burn it. This will keep me warm through the winter. So I'm making my way up through the woods in order to visit the remains of a dryad. And a dryad, for all those of you who don't know, is the spirit of a tree. Not all trees have spirits, in fact they are rather rare, and this one lived in this pasture at the top of the hill and overlooked the beautiful countryside of Devon. This is some footage that I took last year of the ash tree, and as you can see it is in quite a prominent place. Dryads tend to root in prominent places and always are magnificent. The dryad of this ash tree stood sentinel over this view and I did spend many hours speaking and talking with him. However, this summer the tree crashed to the ground and died and along with it, its spirit, the dryad. It is extremely sad and I was most upset as I had spent so often in its company. The dryad has now dispersed its energy back to Mother Earth, where it will be reborn somewhere else, in some other form. However, there is a silver lining, as you can feel the remnant magical energy of the dryad throughout the wood of the tree. And I can feel the wood bringing its warmth and the spirit of the elemental that I loved coming through into my hands. And this is the reason I'm here. Every single part of this fallen tree holds a remnant of the magical dryad that lived within it. So I have come to pick the last remaining twigs and sticks from its branches. I do not need to ask permission, of course, because the darling dryad has died. I am going to turn these twigs and sticks into wands. Each wand will hold a remnant of the dryad that once lived in it, and this makes them unbelievably magical and powerful, especially in the hands of the right witch. These wands are incredibly special. They have the remnants of the dryad within them. And as a result, I thought it would be a good idea to have a little competition. I have one wand for all those who leave me a comment, and I have several wands 
for those who support me on Patreon. If you want to have a look at what's going on there, go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill. I have several to give away. They might not be the most beautiful, but they are definitely the most magical. If you would like one of these wands, and it is one of the rarest in the world, then do support me on Patreon or leave a comment below, and I'll announce the winner at the end of the month. Otherwise, please do like and subscribe, as it really helps my channel, and I look forward to sharing with you my winners.